Good morning, fam. Happy Friday, TGIF. Yes, we made it. <laughs> we made it. So, let me tell you what didn't make it. My hair. It is a mess. So, I literally have, like, my hair in four big twists. And I bobby pin them at the end. You know why? Because I can't cornrow. Which means I can't flat twist. Whatever. So I just bobby pin them at the end and tied this little scarf around because that is all I'm giving today. My makeup is very plain. Um it is a lip gloss, mascara. I threw in some glitter liner, but that's the type of day it is. Um oh my gosh. And something's really bothering my allergies, so my eye is really itchy. Um, so I don't have mascara on my bottom lashes because my eyes are watery, um, and that'll just make it worse. I don't want to look like a raccoon. So, yeah, basic AF today. Okay, fam, so quick outfit rundown because this outfit is basic AF. So my big shawl scarf, so cute. It is like the most comfortable scarf ever. Um, and it covers up some of the fact that my outfit is so basic. <laughs> But yeah, so Gucci scarf. Um, my sweater is from H&M. I have on another shirt underneath, which is also from H&M. I have to pull this down because it's way shorter than I like. Um, these boyfriend jeans are from Zara. Then I have on some, just some gray tights underneath. Um, some, I think these are the medium height Uggs, just the plain Uggs. Um, my scarf is from Amazon. As I told you, my hair came out so jacked up that I just put my hair in four big twists. So there's like one, two, then there's two going towards the back. I do not know how to corn roll or flat twist. So I just twisted them and they're bobby pinned in the back. And I tied this scarf around it. So it looks way better than it did um, earlier. It looks like I did it on purpose. So um, my earrings are just literally some little like butterflies um, in one of those H&M sets where you get like eight pairs of earrings. Um, Chanel ring, MVMT uh, single wire barb cuff bracelet, um, a Gucci bangle, my Apple watch, and an Hermes ring. Um, and that's it, I don't have a, like on a necklace or anything. My makeup is super basic. I have some glitter liner, I filled in my brows, um, threw on some lip gloss, got some mattifying powder on, and then like just my transition color with no other, <laughs> um, no other um, shadow on today. And that's it, that's all I got to give today, y'all. Oh, oh, hey light! Okay, I'm trying to find some good light. Okay guys, so I'm home from work, and I have my coat on because I'm about to leave back out. So, here's the deal, okay? I have been watching a few vloggers lately that have inspired me to try, we're gonna say try, to try budgeting in some form or another. So I watch Stacey Flowers, and she's the girl who I told you about that inspired me to redo um, my like kitchen cabinet um, kind of organization um, with the little, you know, with the mason jars, right? Like that, it's so cute. Um, so I watch her and she is like actively on a um, journey to clear up her debt through um, a Dave Ramsey program. Then I also watch my girl E. Michelle and she does planning videos but she also does weekly um, budgeting videos which are like super interesting. She does like the envelope method and all that. And then um, I also watched a video the other day from Glamazante and she's trying to save like 50k in two months. So um, my goal is not that large. I don't need to save like 50k but what I want to do is actually get on some type of budget. I don't really live by budget. Um, I'm fortunate enough where I have like a career and then I also have um, a couple of other uh, streams of income, right? So, so I basically saved like a good amount of money from my actual salary for my job and then I um, you know make a good amount of income from social media so my rule is save a third spend a third invest a third so I will buy something I want out of a third of the profit whether it's a trip whether it's a, a bag whatever um, I will save a third so we'll go into an account 
and I would invest a third. So that's what I use to buy like lights, filming equipment, backdrops, whatever I want, um, new vlogging camera, whatever, right? So that's kind of how I operate. And then I have one or two other um, sources of revenue, which are less regular, because um, it just depends on like my schedule, what kind of time I have to like commit to other projects, freelance stuff, stuff like that. Okay, so I want to get on some type of budget. Get on some type of budget. One of the things that Stacy does is she sets a hardcore um, budget for everything, including groceries. So she has videos where she only spends fifty dollars a month on groceries, sometimes seventy five dollars a month. I am not gonna be like that hardcore like that's that's all I'm not doing that but um I do want to be better about like not eating out as much which I have been doing really good um this week I only ate out once and so I'm gonna try to just like restock staples in my pantry because if things are easily accessible it's more likely that I will actually cook and meal prep so I'm gonna go to the co-op um I'm gonna stack up on a few like pantry items and a couple of like fresh veggies and stuff that I want for this week so we'll see how it goes and then I'm gonna figure out what budget method works best for me I'll see if I want to use like the envelope thing and sinking funds if I want to use an app if I want to you know keep a planner to track it and I'll figure out what my savings goal is so I'm not saving towards anything really but I just want a bigger chunk in my savings like in my rainy day emergency fund um i feel like i have a good amount saved like in my retirement fund i actually purchased a roth ira shout out to um tristan alexis she talked about that one of her vlogs and then i researched it so i just want more money like in a just rainy day emergency fund so i'm gonna like try to go hardcore for like maybe I don't know three to six months and I'll see how well I do it so the first step is I'm gonna try to budget like set an actual grocery budget I usually just order whatever I want off Instacart and just throw it all in there and pay for a delivery and then if I go to the grocery store myself I go with a list or I forget the list and I just throw everything I want in the cart so I'm gonna try not to do that today so today we're gonna go to um, the grocery store FYI before I go um, first step is actually taking stock of what I have on my phone so I can charge my camera battery but I'm gonna show you what I got from the co-op so my goal was to not go over a $50 limit I didn't like go hardcore I kind of just calculated in my head but I did actually lose count towards the end so I was just like whatever um, but my total ended up being uh, 50 dollars and 83 cents my uh, receipt says 70 83 because i got 20 dollars cash back if you see right there but yeah i spent 50 dollars and 83 cents um with the tax so i'm pretty proud of myself so i'll show you what i got you know grocery haul grocery haul Dun, 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 grocery haul grocery haul okay if you follow me on snapchat you know i make up songs when i do a boxing <laughs> so all right um let's see i got some organic red lentils i'm just reading in the order that they are on my receipt i got 0.87 pounds and it was uh 217 so i'm gonna refill my little jar that I have over there stick this to the side I got my handy dandy label maker over here because I have to label a couple of um, empty jars then I got some organic black beans 
I just got like a handful um, to fill my jar back up. So I got 0.65 pounds and this was $1.16. So I got some room in this jar. I just wanted to fill it. Then I got, um, let's see, honey roasted sesame sticks. I just like to snack on these. And I got 0.73 pounds for $2.91. Um, I got some fresh vanilla uh, almond granola. I got 0.59 pounds. That was $2.35. This is really good um, on top of yogurt. I just just put like a handful on top of my yogurt. So good. Um, I got some sliced almond. I got 0.27 pounds. And that was $2.43. And I usually put this on top of my oatmeal with some honey and um, milk. Let's see, I got um, some organic tricolor quinoa. So I got one pound, well literally yeah, one pound. Somehow I got it one pound under that and this was three forty nine. And then I got some organic wild blend rice. I got 1.13 pounds. Wild rice is actually expensive compared to all the other types of rice um, that are in the bulk section. And this was $6.77. Uh, okay, that was a splurge. But I really like wild rice um, with, like in soup when I make crock pot soup. So it just tastes the best to me. So I had to, had to get it. Um, I got some yogurt covered pretzels, which I get every single time I go in the co-op. Those were 307. I got some organic carrots, two pound bag, and this was on sale for 199, which is pretty sweet. And then I got that chicken base. Um, and that was 429. I figure I'll get a bunch of uses out of that. Um, I got some Fusilli pasta, and that was $1.49. Um, these peppers, I got a yellow pepper and an orange bell pepper. The yellow one was $1.41, and the orange one was $1.35. I got some almond milk that was uh, on sale for $3.29, and then I got some... Uh, organic vanilla yogurt which was also $3.29 I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything oh I got a couple of sticks of butter these were only 99 cents each these are um, organic regular rolled oats I got 1.01 pounds so that was a dollar 30 for all those oats oats are so cheap and I got a cucumber and I believe it was like 79 cents Okay, and then lastly, I got a bunch of spices, um, also from the bulk section because they're really cheap when you get them, like, in bulk. Um, sometimes I buy, um, my spices from Penzi's because, I, I don't know, I just love Penzi's. And then sometimes I'll also buy this brand, Simply Organic, because they sell that at the co-op. But when I have time to actually, like, you know peruse the store and pick out spices and like actually bag them up myself then I'll get um bulk spices because they're just way cheaper so let's see let me find where they are on my receipt okay so I got um turmeric I got 0 0.08 pounds and it was just a dollar four cents this is turmeric then I got some mustard seed and well mustard seed powder I'm sorry and um, this was 0.8 pounds and it was 72 cents. And then I got some sweet basil, which I think is this one. And this was 0 0.02 pounds, it was only 32 cents. I got some ground uh, cumin seed, which was this one, and that was. 0 0.07 pounds that was a dollar 19. I got some oregano 0 0.03 pounds and that was 54 cents and that's everything 
Okay guys, I'm all done. All of my uh, spices and dry goods are put away. Super neat. Oh, it just warms my heart. So now I'm about to make some crock pot red beans. Um, I cleaned them yesterday. I soaked them in the fridge overnight. So now I'm about to add some um, red onion, some red roasted red bell pepper they look like that because um <clears throat> i roasted them and froze them in a freezer bag the other day so i just took them out and cut some up i'm gonna add some garlic some adobo seasoning some paprika some cajun seasoning and this is a seasoning that i made from like 10 different seasonings that i use on chicken but it tastes so good i use it on everything so i'm gonna put some in there and i'm sad because of course i don't write down directions when I make stuff so I don't remember exactly what I made it out of um, I'm gonna toss a couple bay leaves on top and then I have some chicken broth that I just made as well so I'm gonna throw that in there done with my prep so I've got some sweet potato hash a few pieces of chicken some broccoli a couple of loaves of banana bread I've got some hard-boiled eggs a little bit of leftover couscous and some red beans and rice so if you guys have any questions about my meal prep process or this $50 um, grocery budget project leave them below in the comments or if you have any suggestions man I'd be happy to hear them so definitely leave them below as well um, don't forget to rate comment and subscribe please and thank you if you're not already and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace out hey, hey.